Grant local government autonomy or break up Nigeria. This is according to the Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees and River State PDP governorship aspirant Farada Gogo has been arrested. We have details of this with analysis right here on Plus TV on Plus Politics and I'm Kofi Bartels. The Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees, Norge, had recently warned politicians, especially governors, to free the local government tear from, of government rather, from her excruciating control or break Nigeria into pieces. Now, those were their words. The national president of Norge, Comrade Ambali Olatunji, said, quote, a message about autonomy for local governments in Nigeria is simply that the governors should either the local government give or allow local government autonomy or they break Nigeria into pieces. That is very important. And joining us to discuss this is the National Coordinator of Democracy, Vanguard, John Mutu. John Mutu, thanks for joining us. Um, uh, give us give us local government autonomy or break Nigeria up. That sounds a bit extreme. Do you, th do you agree with that school of thought? Yeah, I think I agree with that. Uh, I wouldn't subscribe to that. When you say give us local government, I will break Nigeria to pieces. Pieces on what basis? I don't subscribe to that. Uh, and I think maybe he's saying that out of frustration. I don't think he meant it. Okay. All right. But um, um, is there a truth? Because I say to there's no smoke without fire. And to every statement, there might be a truth. Is there a, a, a certain truth to this? And uh, when we hear such a group, a very important body, um, say that if we do not have autonomy in the local government system, that the nation might break into pieces. Is there a possibility? Let's, let's put aside the extremity of the statement. Is there a possibility? Uh, I think maybe what they meant was that maybe they are going to make the country ungovernable, especially at the state level. And uh, like I said, it may be out of frustration. Uh, Ambali is the president of the Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees. They are workers at the local government level. They live in the local, at the local governments. They live at the communities. They feel the pulse of the people. And uh, they also understand the frustrations of the people. So perhaps maybe, because I know that the advocacy for local government autonomy has been on for a while. I remember during the third alteration and the fourth alteration, this advocacy was there. Nigerians and maybe basically people at the community level have been advocating for the independence of the local government. But we are also aware that the governors, to a large extent, have never supported that independence, even though the National Assembly had on two previous occasions made their recommendations. And when he went to the state assemblies, they didn't vote in favor of it. So I think he knows what he's talking about. They've been engaging with the state governors. They've rallied around this country, they've traveled around this country, they've met with governors. And they understand what they are saying. But like I said, I won't subscribe to that kind of extreme measures. And I think we'll continue to engage and let the governors and other stakeholders who are opposed to local government autonomy series in and free the local government. All right. So, so, so it's been um, you know, uh, a very, very tough period for the country um, with different agitations. Uh, I'm sure we don't want any other thing uh, to lead to the break of, of Nigeria. We can't afford another conflict, can we? Um, but, but it's become really, really difficult. I mean, I know that in Kaduna State, Nasser Arofai has done his best mm -hmm. to to allow the local government free hand, especially financial autonomy. Um, some governors have reasons uh, for, you know, being really sit tight as far as the financials are concerned. Do you understand why some state governors will want to be in control of the finances of the local government? Okay, thank you so much. I think I have followed this discussion for some time and I've been actively involved in this discussion. And just recently, I was in Ibadan for a conference of the speakers and the Oyo State Governor was invited to that forum. And one of the things he said was that if local governments are granted autonomy, urban-based local government areas will not be able to pay wages of local government workers. They have the opinion that the Federation allocation to local government is not sufficient to take care of the needs and just even the labor, uh, the wage bill of the local government. So the state government is saying that if they are given autonomy, there will be chaos. They won't be able to provide the essential services. They won't even be able to take care of the wages. 
And as of today, what they are telling us is that the state government augments the wages, augment the shortfall that comes to the local government. Once they free them, they won't be able to take care of the local government. And I specifically also said that especially urban-based local government. And I had cause to challenge that. There are urban-based local government, there are also rural-based local government. Rural-based local government have their own peculiar challenges. They don't have access to pipe bomb water, they don't have access to good roads, they don't have access to good health center. So their challenges are peculiar. And some of them are quite large. And quite large, yeah, with their own peculiar challenges. Sometimes far apart, uh, far, far apart from the rural, the urban yes. center. So getting access to essential services is a challenge. Whereas the local government are supposed to provide those basic minimum municipal services. But if you now, because the money from the federation account is paid into a bucket called the a Joint Account Allocation Committee, from that account, the state government now starts rationalizing, taking monies for the rural-based local government to augment shortfalls in the urban-based local government. In my view, that means meant robbing Peter to pay Paul. Why will you take monies meant for rural local government to now augment shortfalls for state government when their peculiarities are different? And the local government are also saying, free us. It's our challenge. You cannot love us more than us. Allow us, just try us for a seat and see if we are not able to take care of our own issues. And recently, Nolge did an analysis of how much comes from the federation account and how much is the wage bill. To our surprise, wage bill of the local of the government. Local government okay. It made, it completely put a lie to that assertion that if if they are granted autonomy, they will not be able to pay their local governments. That's not true. And one very what was the finding issue, of that analysis? Was the finding that the the, the wage bill was 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 not as big and impossible to to meet? It shows that the allocation, okay, the allocation in most cases far outweighs the wage bill, and it is not a case of the other way, right? And even at that, if state government are augmenting shortfall for local governments. It is for the benefit of the entire state. If the local governments are effective, they are functional, the state government is also freed from other pressures. So why wouldn't you want the local government to remain independent, be able to provide essential services? Like you mentioned Kaduna. Kaduna is one example of where local governments have been given the, you know, access to their fund and they have been able to manage their case. You can see, go to Kaduna, you see local government chairman constructing roads building hospitals. You go to Jigawa, where they also enjoy that relative autonomy. You see them constructing roads and providing essential services. But go to other local government. And also, River State is another example of where local government are building roads and providing essential services. You, so need, you need to look into that. Yeah. We've tried yeah. two extremes. Okay. For the past 22 years, we've been trying local government under the apple strong of the state government. Why don't we try something different? So you're saying in, in River State, for instance, local governments are, are empowered to, to oh, yes. they're autonomous, oh, yes. they can we do their roles. We have seen evidence, and Nolga has also provided a series of evidence okay. to show that right. local governments are able to provide municipal services. It All may right. not be to the extent that we would, but the state government also complement what they are doing. All and right. that way, right. if the three tiers of government, the federal, state, and local government are working effectively, citizens will benefit. But when it is only the first, just a minute, if it's only the federal and the states, and local government are rendered redundant, then the, the people at the rural community continue to suffer and pressure bring is, 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 is on the state and the federal government. John Mutu, I mean, the Nigerian constitution is, is quite clear when it comes to the function of, of, of the various tiers of, of yeah. government in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You're very well aware of this, you know, the federal government, the state government, and the local government. I mean, local governments have certain functions in enshrining constitution, yeah. and I want us to look at these functions, and I mean, apart from the wage bill, yeah. carrying out these functions, whether they can effectively, not, not just about the fiscal responsibility mm -hmm. of carrying out these mm -hmm. functions, mm -hmm. but also the, the administrative and structural yeah. and technical responsibility. Yeah. Look at, for instance, roads. Roads. Yeah. If, if we were to see local governments embark on mm -hmm. road construction, mm -hmm. you know, to the level, the, number, the, the category of roads they're meant to, yeah. can they adequately? I mean, I, I have seen, I have seen local government chairmen in different parts of the country mm -hmm. construct roads that you will not be proud of. Yeah. And you know that this particular road that the local government chairman is constructing, that a state governor can never and will never construct such a road, mm -hmm. you know, in that local government area. We look at um, infrastructure, um, 
you know, um, the infrastructure development, mm -hmm. certain categories of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, you look at markets, for instance. Yeah. Um, you look at parks uh, and maintenance of parks, yeah. water and sewage. Mm -hmm. Waste collection is not a function of any state government. Exactly. Waste collection is a function of a local yeah. government yeah. in the constitution. Yeah. Even animal management, yeah. pet registration, yeah. abattoirs, what we call slaughter True. in this part of the world. They're meant to do that as well. And these are very, very important. Um, can they, even provision of health facilities, yeah. you know, at that level, at, at the primary level, local governments are meant to do that. Mm -hmm. When you look at all these things, with the know-how and the, the, the technical capacity and, you know, meant to get, can they sufficient, let's leave money aside, yeah. capacity, can they carry these functions out? Unfortunately, you cannot put money aside. It is the money that they are going to use to perform these functions. You remember before 1999, local government were performing those functions. But with the advent, maybe the return to democracy, right, with the Joint Account Allocation Committee, with the current practice, you see that gradually local governments have become stifled and they've been rendered, you know, ineffectual. If the resources are there, they will build capacity. So what you are talking about is a capacity issue. It is the resources that will make them to be able to employ the right engineers, the right manpower, the right supervisors to provide those services. They may not be at the same level with the states. They may not be at the same level with the federal government, but they are able to provide feeder, rural feeder roads. They are able to provide to what quality? Market, no, quality. To what quality? quality. In, 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 ter in terms of the, the capacity is what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. It is the because of the absence of such empowerment that has made the National Assembly, federal government, coming to build, right, coming to start doing boreholes at the community level. That function has been hijacked. And once you hijack that function and you don't allow them to grow their capacity to perform that function, they will become weaker. But what I'm saying is that give them the mandate, give them the resources, and over time their capacity will be built. Waste, the, waste, waste collection. Yes. If, you it, go if we look at Lagos, for instance, yeah. if we do leave, because yeah. this is what it ought to be. Oh, yes. The state government has no business oh, yes. in Lagos State or any state collecting waste true, true. and collecting the rent or the taxes or whatever. Yeah. But imagine leaving waste collection in local in Lagos State mm -hmm. to the local government. You go to Kosofe, yeah. they collect their waste. Yeah. You go to Amodofi, they collect their waste. Yeah. You know, you go to any other. Will Lagos work? Could it work? Do they have the capacity? I, 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 I assure you, the first question is that why did the framers of the constitution, right, bring, the, 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 bring local governments into existence? In a democratic system, the whole idea is to bring governance closer to the people. If you have a local government, the chairman or that local government council's focus is on their immediate environment, right? Kosofe local government that you mentioned, for instance, they are the wage collection emphasis will be only within that municipality. Other local government chair will also focus on their own municipalities. When you decentralize wage collection, it becomes more effective. But when you centralize it and only the state government agency perform that function, they will not be able to perform it effectively. And like I said, don't forget, local government have been performing these functions before now. Nigeria gained independence since 1960. Well, was, was that not I mean, a different era? No, it's the same because local government, it's look, the same people. Do we have the Nigerians. same capacity, the same uh, um, you know, qualified persons manning local governments like we had okay. years I, ago? I, I, can you, I ask, pre-99, yes, even I if you go you, to 92. Yes, can I ask you, sir, what has happened is because the resources for people to perform their function has been seized, right? Local governments have now become resource, maybe salary payment centers. The chairman of the local government now live in the state capital. Councillors have moved from the local government to the state capital. Nobody is at the local government. And these are the same people you want to be collecting refuge. Why have they done that? Why have they moved? It's because there is no activity. There is no resources to perform any function. And once there is no work, and there is so much pressure, there is no money to perform the function, they flee. What I'm trying to say is what has changed? It's the same people in 1992 or before, the same Nigerians are still there. But once there is no resources, the right people will not want to come and contest for local government chairmanship. Who want to fail? Will I want to come and be a local government when I know that I won't have the resources to perform? And that is why they will continue to bring in their own you know, surrogates that will come and sit, who don't even have the capacity, but they are responsible to them alone. And that is why in most states, they don't even want to conduct local government elections. They will want to use political appointees who will not question them. And these political appointees are only accountable to their, their appointor. 
But if there are elected officials, and that is one of the recommendations of the Constitution Amendment, that only democratically elected officials should be allowed to manage local governments. That way they can be accountable to the people. Only local government that have elected officials will have access to funds. So if a state refuses to conduct local government elections, the federal government will not release money spent for local government. But, 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 but you've, you've, you've used a fantastic word, which okay. is surrogates. Yeah. And, and um, some would argue that even with conduct of elections, mm -hmm. it doesn't change anything. That's true. Of course, we're used to the, the era of caretaker committee chairman, yeah. caretaker local government chairman. Yep. Which was as well, which is alien actually to Nigeria's constitutional mm -hmm. laws. Um, it, 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 a look and a study at the elections, the local government elections in various states, would reveal that actually there are no elections. In mm -hmm. fact, in several states, bar Kaduna, which I'm aware of, the opposition in the state does not even care to spend money contesting a local government elections. You agree with that? Yeah. Because they know it's because a the winners are already determined, determined the elections. Of course. And then you have the um, the state electoral commission domiciled under the government. Yeah. Um, so 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 some would say until do you do you agree with those who say until we have free and fair elections and probably the conduct of the local government elections taken away from the state government mm -hmm. and placed in the hand of INEC mm -hmm. we you know, any, any law needed legislation for local government autonomy is just a, um, a smoke screen, really. It's not to work. Okay, let me put it this way. There are three levels. One is financial independence. Okay. Let them manage their funds. Let's hold them to account. Two is administrative independence. Only elected officials with councillors with the mandate of the people, supposedly, whether it is rightly or maybe, but at least they have a mandate, yeah. should be allowed. So that is administrative independence. Okay. The third question is how leadership emerges. Who conducts the election? Is it free and fair? Those are the three questions you're talking about. When, unfortunately, I was part of the process, right? The constitutional amendment process. So, and the advocacy for that. From beginning, Nolgi, NUT, and all of them were saying that it is all or nothing. That we want administrative independence, we want financial independence, we want local government elections to be severed completely from the federal state government and given to INEC. But in the course of the engagements, it was we realized that it was going to be difficult to get all the three. So right. we said, well, well, the governors are fighting back. Of course, definitely, <laughs> including even the legislators, uh, legislators that will vote. So we had to meet them halfway. Because they are saying that this is a democracy. There are three uh, democracies that local governments are part or appendages of the state government. There was this fear that if I in a conduct local government elections, the federal government will start controlling local government and will be using them against state governors. So we now say, if that is your fear, let's meet you halfway. If not halfway, 70%. Grant them financial autonomy. Grant them administrative autonomy. Let's get these ones for keep. Then we can continue the advocacy for the third leg. I'm an apostle of incremental change. They were happy with that. So the state assemblies will still have supervisory control over the local government so that they don't abuse it. That's what we agreed. So grant them the financial autonomy now. Each local government should bear its name. It is easier for communities and local government people to hold their local government chairman account knowing that 100 million was released to them than going to hold the governor account. But, but, but you know, the, if it, you've put it excellently, yeah. you know, financial autonomy, administrative autonomy, and then the elections yeah. being free and fair and yeah. the will of people being exercised. But um, some would argue that and this is my observation, mm -hmm. that as long as the governor of a state determines who become lo becomes local government chairman, mm -hmm. and we've seen what is playing out in River State, yes. with uh, somebody who was not meant to be there, you know, or did, was not needed at the screening, he popped up and he was arrested. Mm -hmm. In some states where you have a governor being uh, politically strong, you won't call it that, yeah. um, you don't buy your form, party form you don't buy. Mm -hmm. When he decides, who wants to run, mm -hmm. he, they'll buy the form, they'll give it to you. Yeah. So you didn't put yourself there. Yeah. Now, when you know that he play, pays the piper, Dictates when the money comes in, that financial autonomy, do you think that in the true sense of the word, they can say, ah, we have financial autonomy, or okay, you can't touch this money. If he says, send the money here, or you can't spend money without me, yeah. Are you sure they could do it otherwise? Yes, I think, uh, like I said, we can't change the world in one day. And you can't solve all the problems in one day. 
Let's keep chopping the problems gradually. We'll get to the. But in, but in, in, in effect, in effect, the administrative and if there is no electoral independence, hold on, sir. Sir, the administrative autonomy and the financial autonomy that you yeah. are touting would basically be on paper. Okay, let me give on you the paper. W what will you want? Will you want to say because we don't have electoral independence, we should also leave the money, leave the uh, instability in the local government? No. At least let's get seventy percent now and continue to fight for the remaining 30. As of today, it's either we change what is on ground now or we don't attempt it at all. And I tell you, the governors are enjoying the status quo. They don't even want to move, leave an inch. We are saying that, look, we may not change the world overnight, but let's start somewhere. And that somewhere is that. Release this money. As of today, the Minister for Finance, when she's releasing the money, the money is paid into a joint account. Who is in control of the account? It's the state government. We are saying that let each local government have statutory account. So that once the money comes into that account, Nigerians and everybody know who to hold responsible. Local government chairman will not say we were not giving money. The money has been given to you. That's number one. Number two, we are also saying that they let there be stability in the tenure of local government. You right. remember, right now, a lot of states are conducting local government, even when they know that they are in transition. And once APC, for instance, is an APC state, conduct local government mm. at the end of it, mm. they, and they win. At the end of the election, let's say a PDP governor yeah. comes in, it dissolves all the local government and conducts its own local government. Okay. We want to stop that. We, we have to move. But, yeah. but you know, Kwame Nkrumah it was who said um, on the night of the independence of Ghana yeah. that the independence of Ghana as a first black nation, South of African independence, is meaningless unless it is linked up with the total liberation of the African continent. So the point I was trying to make is that the financial autonomy and the autonomy is meaningless unless they have electoral independence. Yeah. Uh, that is why I'm saying that I don't want to say use the word we have to meaningless. We have it to may go. not be as effective Ineffective. as we All right. want it. All right. we th <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, John Mutu. But we, we will be speaking with our next guest. And John Mutu is the national coordinator of Vanguard uh, democracy vanguard um we'll be back and when we return we talk about the uh the interesting events unfolding in river state and the governorship uh, screening with the people's democratic party stay with us